Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Bill Sons. We have an announcement for you all. We are going to introduce a new series of nano science and technology in this channel. We are going to take you from scratch to advance everything about nano science and technology. If you don't know about nano science and technology, we have already made a video on nano technology in our channel. So you can check the link is in description box. In this video, you are going to learn the basic idea of synthesizing nanoparticles. As the name suggests, anything which is of nanometer size can be termed as nanoparticles. Now let's assume if a particle is having a dimension x, y, z, and if any of its dimension is of nanometer size, then we can call it a nanomaterial. Taking an example of nano sheet, which can be of any length, but it has at least one dimension in nanometer. In this case, it's the thickness which is of nano size. Nanoparticles can be synthesized by any of the two methods, by top down or bottom up. Let's understand these two methods by a story. One fine day, I was walking on the path of synthesizing nanoparticles. Walking through it, I found a split end. One was taking me to the path of top down approach. While walking on the top down approach path, I met with a stone breaker who was crushing stone which gave me an idea that this top down approach path is something related to breaking or slicing up a bulk material into small nano structures. I came back to the same diversion again and this time I took a left turn towards bottom up approach and there I found a kid making a palace from sand which gave me an idea that this approach allows to combine a small atoms and molecule into assembly of nano size. With this story conclusion, let's understand these two approaches of nanoparticle synthesis in more scientific way. Synthesis of nanoparticles or nanomaterials can be done by two ways, either by successive breaking of a bulk material to get nano size particle. This approach is what known as top down approach or top down method or making a nano size material by building it atom by atom or molecule by molecule which leads to the formation of nano size material known as bottom up approach. Considering a small size stone to be of nanometer size, we can make it either breaking it down from its bulk counterpart or we can use its powdered version put it into a frame and process it to finally get that same size stone. That's exactly how top down and bottom up approaches works. One of the best example of top down approach is ball milling, where we crush and grind the bulk material to get a nanometer range. During the ball milling process, the collision between the tiny rigid balls in a concealed container will generate localized high pressure. Usually ceramic, flint pebbles and stainless steels are used for this ball mining process. In some other video, I will explain you how this ball mining process works exactly to make a nanoparticle in detail. Moving on to the another approach that is bottom up approach. This approach is most widely used for making nanoparticles more efficient and precise. This is subdivided into three different parts, physical, chemical, and biosense. Now let's first focus on the physical approach. The journey of the nanoparticle formation using bottom-up approach starts with the evaporation of starting material, which we call precursor. Precursor converts into vapor precursor in the next step. The vapor precursor get deposited on the surface called substrate to form primary particle then this primary particle attracts other particles and form an agglomerate. Or in simple language, we can say that they start getting collected in a group around a primary particle to form a nano cluster, a structure of nano size. This is how we synthesize a nanoparticle using vapor phase deposition method. Now, starting material can be evaporized by using various methods. Evaporation can be caused by thermal heating inside vacuum chamber is known as thermal evaporation. The same evaporation can also be achieved by bombarding the high energy electron beam directly to the precursor material. 
This high energy electron beam strikes on the precursor material and produces vapor. This method of vapor production terms as electron beam evaporation. A similar technique involving striking target material with high energy laser called laser beam evaporation. Another technique involves striking the target material using plasma gas like argon. Plasma is very high energy ionized gas and has the property to strike off the target material atom. The plasma gas ion bombard the target and splutter its atom which is then deposited to the substrate. This commonly and widely used technique to make thin film of nanomaterials is called sputtering. So far in this video we have discussed ball milling method for top down while thermal evaporation, electron beam evaporation, laser beam evaporation and sputtering for bottom up approach. Mentors, your favorite methods out of all. We'll be discussing chemical and other methods in the next video. That video is going to be much more exciting and informative. So do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you did not miss any of our videos. See you in the next video.